Now, how did you find out you had schizophrenia? What happened? Well, what did you do? I started like What do you smoke, baby? Drink alcohol, and what? Why do you do that? Wow. Hello, my name is As Pharmacist Tish, and I'm here in the beautiful city of Charlotte, North Carolina. You see the beautiful skyline and everything. The busy, amazing city. And who do I have the pleasure of meeting today? Abdul Jabbar. Right. Abdul Jabbar. Okay, nice to meet you. Good to meet you. <laughs> so, how long have you? Are you homeless? I'm currently homeless. Right now. How long you been homeless for, sweetheart? I've been homeless. Only all for five, five to seven years. Five to seven years. How old are you? I'm Fifty years old. So you're only fifty years old. So you're still a young man. <laughs> so, uh, so where were you born and raised? I'm born and raised in Hartsville, South Carolina. Okay, so that's what near Florence, South Carolina. Yes, ma'am. And how did you end up in Charlotte? To work. For work. Yes, ma'am. What kind of work did you do? I was doing industrial work. Okay, and why are you not working there anymore? Because I'm, I'm facing some type of work. Disorder. It's like drinking illness. You say you you facing a disorder? What kind? Of, I'm sorry. What kind of disorder? Schizophrenia disorder. Oh, so you have schizophrenia? It's, it's not like it's schizophrenia. But it's like schizophrenia, affective disorder or something like that? Now, how did you find out you had schizophrenia? What happened? Well, what did you do? I started like a drug over one car. I got nine with my left hand. I got hearing voices right. on the job. You did what on the job? I got hearing voices when I was working. Oh, okay. So 1201, it'll be on there. I can't work no more. Oh, okay. And how old were you when you realized you had schizophrenia? So? I was like, what's going on? What's going on right here? In my early 30s. In your early 30s? So that's kind of late, yeah. And so, when you started hearing voices at your job, you let them know, and they kind of they, they fired you because of that, or what? Oh, I'm sorry. So, did you try to get any help for your um, schizo? Right. I just got to log into my sources. They're very resourceful. Okay. Right now. Right. Okay. So the urban uh, ministry, they really help out with the resources. You're saying? Yeah, they help us out a lot. Now, are you taking any medication for your? Yes. The medication I'm on is called Invergo. Okay, so you know your medications very well. Yes, I'm very compliant. Okay, so will you go get a, a shot or something? That's right, I get an injection. And does that help? It helps a lot. It helps out a whole lot. Okay. All right, I got you. Okay, so are you mar have you ever been married or are you married? <laughs> well, well, I've been in a like, long-term relationship. Uh-huh. She has um. Common law, Mary. Common law. How long was that? Probably like thirteen. Thirteen years. Do you have any substance use disorders? Do you smoke crack? I have. I have my, my, my downfalls. Right. I drink. <laughs> uh huh. What do you smoke, baby? Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You drink alcohol. And what, why do you do that? Because it helps with voices. 
Wow. So, so you 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 um do drugs and you drink alcohol to help with the voices. The being on. No, it's fine. I mean, this is what we want. We want to bring awareness to help. I read the 12 and 12, 12 steps mm -hmm. from this one, you know, but I go to meetings and all that. Right. Oh, it's just that I need to surround myself around me. I'll call you ready. Yeah. So the Vega, the Vega doesn't help with the voices? It helps. Um, hey, street drugs help too. Right. The street drugs help more, you think? They help. Not more, but they it helps. helps. It's yes, it is. Yeah, especially with us getting older, we can't keep putting drugs in our body because our body can't handle it. I know, man. It's starting to have bad heart, yeah. and all that. So let me ask you this. How do you, you know that fentanyl, you heard about fentanyl and how... Fentanyl. Yeah, and how a lot of people are dying because it's mixed yeah. in the drug. I heard of that. Are you afraid of that? I, I'm really, truly hard. Right, because you know it only takes a little bit of fentanyl to kill you. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So you use the drugs to... I'm interested in... I'm a scientist. Mm-hmm. I'm a I write poetry. Oh, you write poetry? Okay. I play chess. Okay. So did you finish high school? Yeah, I graduated. Oh, really? Okay, that's great. You And you went to high school in Charlotte? Or in, in Florence? Okay. Uh, <laughs> I know the people of Charlotte. Shout out to Florence, uh, South Carolina. Yeah, you go. And so, how was your childhood growing up? Did you suffer any abuse or anything? Oh, I had a good childhood. You had the mom and dad in the home, or just the mom? I had my mom and my dad. Okay. I lived on the with the Right. You know, the father put time in. Right, so your your father spent time with you. Yeah. So why why do you think you end up being homeless? Why do you think? I made some bad choices, some not good decisions. Like what? Like being around people. Oh, so it's the crowd. Yeah. Right. It's sort of like professional. Right. Wow. So so you have a game plan of you you know. I have a little strategy going on. Right. Have you lost hope? No. Good. I got faith. Not seen, but believe in everything, so I define faith. Right. You so say your faith keeps you going. Right. Right. Okay, because God, He walks with me in the sand, footsteps in the sand, just like He marched with His real army. Right. Always in the Amen. That's good. Any thing, anything else you would like to share? So the young, what would you like to tell the young people? I mean, but in your case, you know, you have a medical condition and it's very hard. I want to say to the young people. Yeah. There's people in every generation that to be president, nurses, senators, drugs. There's every those people in every generation. You guys hang in. Okay. All right, well, I appreciate you so much. You, I mean, I just love everything you said. <laughs> All right, you take care, baby. All right, bye bye. Yeah.